our engineers looked at all of the data of poachers, meaning they looked at every image, and they could identify specific characteristics of how they covered their faces, what they wore, and uh, how they held weapons, and how they moved. Anyways, they, they created an AI algorithm and put it inside the chip. The chip was in place inside this camera, and we put motion sensors and infrared so we can keep battery life and keep it asleep for most of the time. So then we put them in these trees, and then motion would trigger it. So anytime uh, the wind blew and something moved, it would wake up, but then the chip would analyze the data offline, um, at the edge inside, no connection, and 95% of the time it was a non-threat, so we would just eliminate the picture and shut the camera back off. In the event that it was a poacher, it would wake up, he would see it, he would take that image and connect to a radio frequency and shoot it to the team nearby, and then they could come and see it. So the chip itself, the AI, can be designed for specific situations. This was not a high definition camera. We weren't really, it gathered enough data, but if we really wanted to do like facial recognition, we can do it with that. We can create a chip to process that information. So if you want to go through our little uh, safari, walk through on the other side, you'll see the perspective of the camera.